Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now you're live. Once it hits zero, you're live. So then what I do is I go to my page on my phone. Yeah. Right? So in this case, I'm going to go to your page. All right. Oh, you mean Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I go to your page and it, it sometimes it'll take I... like a two or three. Here it is. We're on. We're on now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to share this. And then you go. Right. So. Uh, <laughs> right. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then what you can do is you can click it like you're going to watch it on your phone, right? Okay. It, sometimes it'll take like a test the sound. This is good. And then down at the bottom left, you can push the share button. Yeah. And you can you can share it. You don't need to share it to your page because it's already on your page. You can mm-hmm. share to you can share to your group. I've sent it to a few groups, yeah. Yeah. So you and and then the other thing you can do is if you want, you can click that share button, mm-hmm. and all your all your friends will pop up, and you can okay. just go, you can go down the list and just invite your friends. You see how? Can you see? Uh, you see? How, you see, is, see how your uh, friends pop? All your friends pop up and it has a send button next to it. Um, it says like send a messenger, share mm-hmm. to a group. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you must have an iPhone. Okay, yeah. so you know. Yeah, so all right. So we're go. live. Mm-hmm. So hey guys, really sorry about the technological difficulties, but thank you. Um Welcome back to Indigo Soul Starseed. It's been some time since I've broadcasted, as you can probably tell. I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, but I'm being taught by the master here. So welcome, Todd, Medina, from, is it Soulology One Studio Suite? It's called Soulology or Soulology One. Soulology or Soulology One, One Studios. Well, I mean, those are two different things. But Soulology is okay. the main thing. But but most, okay. a lot most people call it solology. <laughs> solology, okay. And um, I remember seeing that you're on YouTube as well as Facebook, right? Yeah, I just started really kicking up to YouTube again. I st- I kind of started uh, doing the stuff on. YouTube. And I was actually doing both, and then I kind of um, got away from the YouTube. I just used it as an archives, but now I'm loading up all the shows on there. So it's start it's starting to get some uh, traction. I think there was like 400 subscribers, and we're about to go over a thousand. So that's been wow. over about two, two or three that's weeks. Amazing. Yeah, that's really really amazing. I mean, I, I remember because like my mom, she used to watch you. Um, no, sorry, hang on. Well, spin around. It was me. I started to watch you quite some time, way way before. I'm not sure now. Like. You was in a very small room, and I think it was maybe towards the start um, of your journey doing this. Um, and there's been so how many? You said five hundred and fifty-five, right? Yeah, I think it's five. I think it's actually the the next one is five fifty-five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bear with me, please. I just want to check something out. Um, Go ahead. Okay, guys. So, um. Yeah, all I was saying was um, I've seen Todd grow from like, wow, it just transformed in front of my eyes. Um, and I've watched your journey and like from well, from the start that I, you know, from when I met you, kind of met you. <laughs> um, and, and then my mum started to watch as well because I was sharing your videos on my page and so forth. And I was like, I like this guy. I like your humility, um, your honesty, and I find you very down to earth. And I love the way you connect people and, you know, you share things out there. It's it's great. I'm just looking for you, by the way. I'm not being rude. I've lost the screen. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the screen for a moment there, guys. Um, so, yeah, um, just to see your journey, Todd. And I watched you do a recording i think you called it the sermon your first sermon oh wow yeah like three years ago yeah. was it or, yeah something like yeah. that okay uh, yeah I that. yeah that that That's was it. uh 
that was like in uh i think march or april of 2015. yeah i, I don't i don't i don't re recall for sure it may have been like even as late as the summer but yeah that that was a uh yeah i just i didn't know what i was doing right and uh <clears throat> i was told go clear out your downstairs and make a studio so yeah. i did and uh I just like put four couches in there and I had a little workstation and $60 speakers and, and, uh, and I just turned on the, the laptop. I didn't even have internet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so I turned on the laptop, I put some music on and I, and I just made that, that video. Uh, yeah. It's like a 40 minute thing where I, where I compare music with religion and say, you know, cause I love music and, you know, people take, old music and put it with new sounds and create a higher vibration. Why didn't religion do that? It's kind of funny to watch those things now. Well, I, I really enjoyed the way you was like, mm, you was really honest about your feelings. I felt on that video, it came across that way anyway. Um, and it was just really nice to um, as well, there's a connection because we're both musicians, I'd say, and lyricists and, you know, and so forth. Um, and the music, I completely can relate to what you said in that video um, about how music at your roughest point really um, helped you stay sane, yeah. I suppose, helped you create an escape. Um, I can really relate to that because when I was going through a really, really rough point in life, music, me uh, singing with, in a duet that I was singing with, that was my only thing that was keeping me alive back then. So I completely can relate to that, you know, and um, yeah, I don't know, it's just something nice about you. You're you're just you're a humble guy and it's an honor to be able to sit here and chat with you. I'm kind of blown away really. I'm like, is this Todd in front of you? Just seeing you transform, Todd, it's just you've just grown like in front of everyone's eyes. I don't think I don't think you realise that because you're the other side of the screen, aren't you? So it's you know well <laughs> actually <laughs> actually uh, yeah I, uh, I you know it's funny because uh, I didn't know yesterday from somebody me that thing but yeah I am aware of it because I'm in divine conscious union and that's a big part of my growth that that actually I think I really started uh, doing videos August 28th it was yeah August 27th 28th of uh, 2015 and I met her, I met her um, September the 3rd at 3.33 in the morning. Okay. And so it was like the same the same week. So anyway, uh, in this relationship, uh, yeah, I've had the guidance of a divine feminine carry sacred wisdom and, you know, and I had a lot of shadows. <laughs> yeah. So actually we were, we were just talking about that this morning. We are talking about like, you know, a little over a year ago when I started these, Institutional, mm -hmm. fiery sometimes with uh, yeah. some of the people that were on, and uh, yeah. so it's it's come a long way. I've calmed down a little bit. Yeah, and can I just ask, like, just for the audience, because I I think I'm aware of as you call her your divine goddess, right? Your divine sacred feminine, and that makes me want to cry. Just say, oh, uh -huh. sorry. Who? That's yeah. really emotional for me. That's uh -huh. like wow. Because to get yeah. to a state where to, to get to a state where like you and Morgan Lee is right where you're you know you're both balancing because you're twin flames aren't you? Uh, I don't. I'm not really comfortable with that word or that. Okay. I, I don't know, the twin flame. The twin flames. Uh, we just refer to it as a, a divine conscious union. Uh, That's but really yes, cool. yeah. Like there's it. no. Yeah, there's no question that uh, we've. There's had, a soul connection. Um, yeah. That's. Yeah. 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 It's uh, it goes. I mean, it's the only reason I'm not we're not comfortable with the word twin flame is because it's been used so many different ways or whatever. But I get but, that. But to your point, I think uh, there's no question that in this incarnation, uh, regardless of whatever past or future memories we have shared mm -hmm. together, uh, that we were supposed to be together. Mm -hmm. You know, so like yeah. the universe conspired with us and. It hasn't been easy, 
but mm-hmm. um, yeah, but it all it's all real. You know, this 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 is a big part of the uh, transition that we're making called Ascension is uh, yeah. the role of the divine conscious unions. I think definitely, I I agree with that. Um, I've met two of my soulmates, let's say, and whether it was in romantic relationship or platonic friendship, they both helped me and been catalysts and propelled me forward in on this path, you know, and helped me to see things about myself that I was perhaps resistant to see, uh, maybe unready to see, and it does help. It, I mean, obviously, you don't have to be in a relationship. That's, you know, it's you all don't. about love yourself, isn't it, primarily, uh, before you, you yeah. find someone else to love. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a big that's a big uh, well that's the whole gig, right? I mean, but you know, yeah. like when I met her, when I met her, I was really you know I I was really connected to um, you know to the higher the higher aspects or the universe or whatever, and I was doing a lot of work, and my work has always come from the heart, mm-hmm. but I didn't understand what I didn't understand was the shadows I had, so she really uh took me through that over quite a bit of time. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I think it's still going on to a degree, but uh, I, my big shift, I think, really came at the end of this blood, uh, this blood moon in July 20th. Yeah, that's the most recent that's, one. Yeah, yeah, that was really big for me because I came back to my hometown and uh, she had to go back to Australia because of her visa and. Oh. I was over here taking care of some legal stuff and and yeah. seeing my kids and and uh and I was walking on the streets the same streets that I was homeless on you mm-hmm. know and it was it was quite powerful and then um I had this I had this come to mother goddess meeting mm-hmm. on the 27th and uh, caved in and I just surrendered and said I surrender to the divine feminine to mother goddess and I think that was that was a really big point, man, probably for a lot of people that time mm. period. Yeah, I, I mean, I find through I've only been on my path for three and a half years. Yeah, I find through that time, it, it seems to be a continuous circle of transformation. Like you surrender once and then you'll surrender again and you'll surrender again. And every right. time it seems to get kind of deeper and deeper into the seren- serenity, serenity, surrendering. Um, yeah, it's um, it's a strange one, that, because I have surrendered to, like, love as such and to God, but also I've surrendered to my higher self as well because my higher self made it that that's important to do as well. Um, so we're not trying to control the this... Um, journey so we're just we're just not just being to accept everything but we're being do you know what i mean we're not forcing anything we're just being who we are yeah <clears throat> i agree and with that that's easy yeah, to do I, right well i think it's simple to do it's the simple you know it's simple but it's 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 not easy uh, or it hasn't been easy but i think it's getting much much easier for a lot of people especially over the last few weeks especially this year yeah it is you're right it's about being and being in the sense of uh owning it you know yeah owning it uh you know you either think yeah you either think you're divinity or not believe you're divinity or you're not Uh, and you're right it is a it is an escalation and you know it's a ascension you know a constant I used to say, uh, you know, in the ascension, you wake up, and if ascension's a ten, and you in your day, you wake up on Tuesday, and the ten is now a one, and there's a new set of one to ten. You know, so you're right; it, <laughs> it, it's a continuous, it's a continuous thing. It really is, and it, it seems to be like healing because I do. Um, I have a lot of. Well, I say I have, I do and I receive um, lots of types of healing. I work with one other healer in particular, again, a soul connection um, relationship that I have. And um, we do a lot of like subconscious mind work, uh, reprogramming the subconscious mind, changing our beliefs, um, past life karmic work, all this kind of really deep traumatic stuff, really. Um, 
and it, it just seems like the more you the more you let go of trauma and past life and karma and all of the beliefs and programs and all the heaviness the more light comes in and you do actually feel you just feel much freer and you just flow more with life and it's just it just seems to be a bit easier in my experience <laughs> that's true it's true i mean it's that, yeah absolutely i mean the inner work and the shadow work we used to call it um uh, yeah i mean and these are the that i learned in my relationship you know because uh, mm -hmm. i was un i was unaware i was unaware how deep it went i didn't understand that <clears throat> this stuff went into our bones into our cellular you know <laughs> makeup and all that right mm -hmm. and uh yeah and so but but now i think we're kind of like past the tipping point and i think uh we're we're now moving into uh an uh, a conscious creation mode something like mm -hmm. that you know i'm starting to see that in my own life and other people's lives you know the, the magic's actually uh manifesting or materializing oh and i i'm not sure if you've realized but it's it's happening so quickly now it really, really is. Um, I made this manifestation board about a month ago, a couple of months ago, and be right back. Just to like give an example, it may just be the more trauma when you release the quicker you manifest. I'm not too sure. I'm just trying to figure it all out, but um, I'm just looking. Most of the stuff on here has literally happened already, and I haven't even focused on this stuff. And I'm not saying this to be uh, uh, big headed. <laughs> I'm actually just trying to show you, for me, how quick things have sped up. And I'm wondering if it's the same for you and Morgan, and if you're experiencing the same sort of time speed up, if that makes sense, or time lapse, or uh, yeah, there's some there's some stuff happening. I mean. Uh... You know, there's no doubt about it. Like, dim like dimensional, like, like ones, ones here and ones there, and you're kind of like in the middle. Sometimes I'm over here, you know, in the five D. Yeah. Like I'm talking about, like I, I walk outside and uh, and I can see all the lines of the matrix. Uh, yeah. Wow. You know, <laughs> um, yeah, I see the like the overlay of the sky. Just like it's wow. being an over, just like if you're painting a picture. I've seen that. And then that other before. times, yeah. Yeah, I think people are starting to see that, the deja vus and the, uh, oh, the, yeah. the materialization of their thoughts. And I, and I think the other thing that's real big right now is um, all the stuff that we've been working on, like you said, for three and a half years, mm -hmm. or me for seven years. Yeah. Uh, I think all that stuff is starting to to uh, materialize. I think yeah. that uh, the the universe is really inspiring. You know, I agree. But then again, we've also just gone through the eight 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 Lions Gateway, haven't we? So everything we yeah. have been working on will now manifest in abundance anyway. That's what it's all about. The eight 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 guys. I hope you don't mind. My um, guides <laughs> just asked me to bring out. Oh, I'm getting all emotional again. <sighs> It's okay. That's what it's all about. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from, though. Right? <laughs> is someone in the in the crowd, or yourself, or is it my own? Well, I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> what? It, what? It, what? Oh, it's emotional gratitude. What is? It? Uh, well, it's it's like I don't know. It's like an over overwhelming sensation of like uh, self love and also a feeling of like being home as well as if that makes sense but i was just asked to pick up my galactic um crystal skulls oh wow those are cool these i'm Good. sure i heard you talking about these once um on was it on yeah, one I show think it, uh, i asked somebody i said what uh, what are those <laughs> what are those things yeah. i mean these but are I, these, yeah I, I i was looking at a old post uh lisa transcendence brown uh -huh. popped up yesterday and okay. it and it had several several pictures of different crystal skulls oh wow nice but, 
Yeah. I think on one show I was asking somebody, uh, what are they? Okay. What do they uh, represent? As far I don't as remember I... what. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't remember what I was told. I don't remember what I was told. I don't know anything about them. Um, I don't know much about them, but as far as I'm aware, um, I was guided to get them the other day. Spirit had already told me I was going to this fate that I was going to get them today. Um, my intention to discover these was to meditate with them um, in order to unlock the wisdom that was coded into them in Atlantean times for us to unlock in this generation and further generations. Um, the wisdom is stuff that's been kept for so, so, so long from the Atlantean generations. So oof, you can only imagine what it could be, right? Uh, future technology, uh, could be so many amazing, wonderful things. Um, of course, they represent um, extraterrestrial life. And I am actually an indigo myself. So I am not from this planet originally, and I haven't spent many lifetimes on this planet at all. Um, so I really resonate with galactic stuff. I channel light language and things like that. Um, and yeah, they're crystals. They're made of like six to nine different crystals each one and then they have copper around them to enhance their vibration basically so you meditate with them they help you in like in ways crystals do but they also can help you tune into galactic life they can also uh help you like i said to unlock that wisdom that knowledge that's just mind-blowing and they're from the atlantean time the atlantean time was an incredible time it was a, a time of very high potential um like the golden age in ancient egypt and the times the times of mythology and you know not history not his story but the rest of it yeah <laughs> but, um yeah guys i just um, i normally when i pick these up i just bring some light language through and i'm actually being asked if i could do a little bit of that would you mind if i did a little something no no I, like, I love light language yeah, I want to. I want to actually record. I'm working on recording uh, light language with music. Mm. That is something I've wanted to do for freaking years. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna do some tomorrow uh, with Yuki. Awesome. Uh, cool. One, one of the shows tomorrow. We did one. Uh, we did one about ten days ago. Oh wow! How good. did it turn out? Yeah. It was really good. I, I found a really nice piece by a. a, a kind of unknown com uh, uh, composer uh -huh. uh, that does like, uh, you know, everything like neoclassical and, and uh, wow. ambient and all this different stuff. But anyway, yeah. And so she just, we didn't rehearse it. It was all just spontaneous. It went really well. It was very well received. But isn't, so, that yeah, always, isn't that always the best music though, when it's spontaneous, when you channel your yes. soul, right? You channel your soul, that's music. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. So, uh, whew. so I'll just ask that my uh, guides, Nightwolf and Ishmael and Sarah, surround me in a circle of golden light. And I'm just asking that I am connected to the most highest, purest galactic council for light language to be channeled through. And any healings or activations or anything that can be brought through, I give permission to channel this now for the highest and most purest intentions. And only these intentions. So it is. Higher self, I ask you to come forth now. Thank you. So, Nightwolf. Keep going. Thank you. Keep hey, going. 
Americans, join in. <laughs> join in and raise your vibes, right? Hey, I, hey, hey. remember the drum is so much louder than the microphone can handle is it buzzing really oh. loud it's okay. no it's amazing Blind. you have an amazing you have an amazing uh, yeah amazing yeah but that's that's what when i um when i've heard your lyrics poetry that's exactly what i've i've thought about that because guys is it is your own lyrics isn't it what you write which you share on your page and stuff yeah yeah all, all my stuff I occasionally i occasionally will read somebody's other you know stuff if they send it and in the comments write. but yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i'm with you but oh my gosh like how, how do you write like that you know it i i can sing i can play instruments but writing for me has always been a little bit of a of a struggle you know, it's um, yeah, strange. But you you express beautifully. That's all I'm trying to say. It's it's very poetic, very poetic. Um, and I'd love to um, I'd love to have the opportunity, like I've said to you before, to record some of your lyrics. That would be amazing. Really enjoy that. Uh, yeah, I'd love that. I think that's great. I told yeah, anything you want to do, yeah. Cool. I actually, I th I thought I sent you one that uh, I've been trying to get. Uh, a female voice to to do for a long time. I haven't received it, Todd. Um, was that on Facebook or? No, I don't know. I, I probably didn't do it. It's probably something that passed through my mind. But, okay, uh, sweet. Yeah, there's one. It's called, uh, what is it called? Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, called... it's too early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's the um, I think it's the galactic energy is coming. I can sense them all around me. Actually, it's I'm I'm sitting here shaking because their energy is so high. I'm like, oh. yeah. <laughs> literally. Have you, have you been getting Have you been getting more galactic uh, presence or visitations? Uh, Ooh, I um I actually connected with the Andromedans the other day. They they, whoo again the emotion. Woo. <laughs> this is ascension, guys. One minute you're crying, the next minute you're laughing. <laughs> Just go with it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I connected with them. They they showed themselves to me. It was beautiful. That like um small pink beautiful crystal fairy ETs basically. Uh, oh wow. Vibration was one of such love. I've never felt love like it. Ne in their presence, I was like this the whole time. I was just smiling. I couldn't stop smiling. Like it felt amazing. And they communicate with me telepathically and also asked me to transpire some light language for them. And in fact, talking about them, I can feel them drawing in. So do you mind if I go ahead and do that now, guys? Is that okay? Go ahead. Won't take long. Thank you. I'll just see if there's anything they want me to bring through. Uh, if you don't know what light language is, guys, it's just a language of light. It's ancient, it's from the stars, and it's a language of healing and activation. And I work with this pretty much every day in my meditations for myself. Um, if I'm guided to help others somehow, I'll do that my best I can. So anyone can do it. It's really easy to do. You just intend, you set that out to the universe. And it took about a year or so of me really desiring it before it started to really flow through. And now, since watching Todd and uh, Unity Grace, Sophia Harmonics, that was I learned about that. 
And then when I was in Wales a couple of weeks ago, I channeled that myself for the first time. And I wouldn't have known about that unless you'd interviewed Unity Gray. So you see the connections. It just it's very important we all connect, you know. Yes, it anyway, is. sorry guys, getting lost there. It's okay. I'm doing great. <laughs> Yeah, well, I start channeling, and it's like so much energy just... <laughs> hmm, need to calm down, girl. Do that. Are you getting a message? Yeah. I'm, I've, I've got something coming in, that's for yeah, sure. I feel it. I can feel it. Very. It's a very high vibration. It's giggly as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the fairy galactics, because they're like that. Okay, seriously now. Rati akora uso, rami atora ti akira uso. Rami ya ya ya, rami ya. Arti ikora aki, rami atu. Rami ai aha Toramaya e torita su Romai You can you can hear yourself yeah, yeah. be whoever you are born to be orai ramai sura Guys, is there anything you'd like to say? Wow. 
Uriah, may love and peace be with you all <laughs> and flourish in your world. It's amazing. Thank you. No, you're good. You're good. <clears throat> and anyone who doesn't see the value of that, maybe you need to look for it. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'd just like to thank the guides that came through and the galactics that came through and my guides and my higher self also and your higher self, your guide team as well, Todd. And everyone in spirit that's been a part of this show today because <laughs> we're well aware, even with our eyes closed, that every living soul, every rock, every tree, every creature, every being has a soul and a neck. That's right. And it's worthy of life and love. <laughs> Woo, that, was, that was amazing. You're amazing. You are amazing. Everybody. There's no tears, but my so, heart is like, a, I can see like, because I see and I can see like a waterfall of sparkling water almost purifying just just overflowing if that makes sense yeah and i feel the emotion yeah. so strongly as well it's but I, i've been crying every day for the nearly the last three years releasing all that don't serve me emotionally so i just don't think i have tears <laughs> <laughs> so and how about the how about the last two or three weeks have you had a lot of have you had a lot of in Tense galactic uh, presence. Well, I was traveling actually. Um, I went to Wales and um, with the guy that I do do healing with, and um, it was amazing because I was able to meditate every day. We was in this beautiful place, North Wales. It's just completely unspoiled. It was coast. It was hills. It was valleys. It was everything all in one. Uh, animals everywhere and the vibration everyone's smiling and everyone's happy and the air's clean and the constellations oh god you could just talk about it all day it's so beautiful and we was just able to meditate there pretty much every single day wherever we desired in this amazing area um and as we was there it wasn't so much i was having galactic experiences They've started coming in more since I released the trauma that I had to let go of when I was in Wales. That was all about shadow work and releasing trauma yeah. as well as having a break and exploring, having some fun. It, but it was mostly about releasing trauma. So I have managed to let go of so much stuff, really, looking back at it, um, that was so heavy and traumatic. And that is seems to have enabled my channels to become stronger I suppose is the yeah. word I'm looking for um but then again my advice if you guys do meditate not everyone does but if you do I meditate every day that's the best advice I can give anyone really if you right. want a real real strong kind of connection you don't have to meditate to have one but it really helps it really does help but yeah well, you know how about yourself? Have you ever, I'm curious to know, living where you live, if you've ever seen UFOs, because I really want to see one. <laughs> Here, let me give you a piece of advice. Yo. Because uh, it's early for me in the morning and I'm a little bit irritable. Okay. <laughs> so you got this guy on here, <clears throat> Mark, <clears throat> Mark Kedman. <clears throat> and that's a good sign that you have, uh, trolls like that that means you're doing something good but all you need to do is get your phone out like this mm -hmm. click on his click on his comment and it will say block and remove okay so hang on a second. Please, i've not even seen this guy's message so bear with me please i've not even don't seen worry, it. don't worry about his message just take my advice okay uh, so i'm looking i'm looking for his it, name on the phone yeah get it on your phone and you know i welcome people like that because 
the truth is if we weren't doing something uh, that was very significant, they wouldn't be here bothering us or trying I, to bother You know what? Unfortunately, so, when the light shines, my, it's mm -hmm. the light. When the light shines, it really mm -hmm. messes people up. It really does. Well, yeah. Well, and the whole point is not to let it. You know, I just, I just block them and remove them. You know, I, you. I don't pay attention to them, but I don't like that they. When it's on my shows, I don't like that they bother the audience. You know. And you know, if I didn't, if I hadn't removed so much shadow like you just did recently in Wales, I'd probably be throwing some f bombs out and a few things. Okay, <laughs> okay. I, I honestly cannot even see the message, and honestly, like things like that. Don't just worry don't about it. Me so, what it's, don't worry about it. So you know, I've, I I've been. Um, yeah. I, I was going to say, I think it's significant what you said about Wales. I think okay. uh, what's happened is. Uh, and a lot of people have written about this. Morgan's written about it. Uh, uh, Pars Cate, um, uh, There was a few other people, and I can't remember because it's too early in the morning. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, the thing is, uh, this some type of Stargate mm -hmm. is one way that it was put. And this Stargate, uh, you know, uh, from things I've picked up in, in my relationship, too, um, Cause I don't really understand. I have to, I have to like figure out how, you know, what's happening. Morgan will explain other people I read will explain it. But I think this Stargate uh, may have been some type of first wave or Blu-ray Stargate and we're all connecting. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us push through a lot of uh, the final, not the final, but the bigger traumas that were holding us back for these, these direct communications, these mainline communications from the galactic. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? I am. I'm listening to you, sweet. I'm just um, dealing don't, with what you said. That's all. But I am listening to you. Yeah, don't worry about it. But uh, honestly, it. like I've I've seen um I've actually seen angels. I've seen guardian yeah. angels. Yeah. I've seen all kinds of beings and met all kinds yeah. of beings. You know, and it's amazing. It really mm -hmm. is. Um, so uh, so so here's the thing. Okay, you've seen that. Uh, and, and even if I go back over the last 10 days, I've had two visitations. Okay. Uh, visitations yeah. from, and, and, and we also have these connections between each other. Okay. I'm I'm seeing, I'm actually, uh, sorry. Angels, I've seen guardian angels. Yeah. I've seen all kinds of Is that your phone? Yeah, sorry. I'm just trying to pause it, guys. There you go. Sorry. You got it? So, um. I'm actually trying to figure out how to uh, – da, da, da. ah, Mark is saying that Jesus woke him. Mark, I've met Jesus as well, by the way, and he's nothing like they depict in the books or anything like that. He is a beautiful soul, though, that's for sure. Um, but where are we? I'm trying to block the guy, but I don't know how to. And pff, I'm not sure really bothered, to be honest. You got your phone? Uh, yep. Okay, get your phone, click on his comment. It's going to say block and remove. Okay. Click on his comment. I have to find the video, yo. There it is. Mm -hmm. Come on, then. And that's, he's throwing some oh, and you'll, know, you'll, you'll, know, you'll know next time. Just right. click on his comment. Hey, block, and remove. block and remove. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. Um, comment. I have to find the video, yo. No. There it is. Mm -hmm. It's not allowed me to do that, you know. Don't worry about it. We'll just let him on for the ride. We'll let him be here. I honestly, leave him be because there's something he has to learn. That's obviously why he's here. So, you know, I mean, there's people all over the world that are having mm -hmm. galactic visitations. You know, Morgan and I had five or six of them uh, this past summer where we, they mm -hmm. actually materialized in our presence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Full body materialization. Amazing. Uh, Amazing. Also, also uh, recently, I think there's been uh, a big upswing in it. I know for me, twice in the last ten days, I've mm -hmm. had some. I've had some. Um, uh, I've had a couple of visitations. Uh, and I don't know if that's the right word. You know, visitations, uh, uh, divine episodes, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think that's on the upswing. I think more and more people are having that happen. I agree, yeah. Um, when I started my 
my page because I run a page called Indigo Soul Starseed. For those of you who'd like to connect and link up, I actually am a trained reader. I do readings there. I do all kinds of, uh, I do Reiki, all, all kinds of things really, guys. I have groups and so forth. Also, like uh, Todd, I have a YouTube channel, the same name, Indigo Soul Starseed, where I post music and interviews and things like that that I do. Um, if you'd like to link up, that'd be great, guys. But there's plenty of reviews and things. But my point was, when I started the channel, there was no other Indigo Soul um, web channels on Facebook. I was one of the first Indigo Souls to create one of my pages, right? Um, and now, three and a half years later, there's Indigo everything. Like, it's just exploded all over Facebook. So my, my point is, to answer your question, Todd, not only is there more groups and things now, but people I'm aware of, they have been having more experiences. They have been manifesting more. They've been living their dreams. They're like, you know, things are just, just going crazy for them in a good way. Um, and things are changing so rapidly. But the signs, you get signs from the universe, right? They're unavoidable. You follow the signs. You follow the trail. It's quite fun. You have fun with it. And you go, you experience, right? You create, you do what you're here to do. You live your life. Yeah, right on. So I'm just uh, still trying to figure that out, what you Don't worry said. about that. Okay, cool. Anyway. Well, some, somebody just took, somebody, Crystal Dawn just took care of it for you. So oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> there you go. The universe, see? <laughs> For others, the universe expresses. And I'm truly grateful. Thank you, Crystal. Did you yeah. say Crystal? Yeah, Crystal. Okay, thank you. Yeah, crystal Appreciate that. Do you know, let's just put up some comments because there is people here and we've kind of ignored them all. <laughs> so we've got Elizabeth. Da -da -da. Uh, Crystal Dawn says, love, 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 back to you, sister. Um, does anyone have any questions, by the way, about anything, really, about what we've spoken about or about either of us or anything else? Or how about you, Todd? Is there anything you'd like to really talk about or you're just happy to go with the flow? I'm here. I, I still I still say your uh, light language was incredible. Your light language Thank with that you. drum. You know, you, you pull in uh, galactic, but you also pull in indigenous and, uh, yeah. And some things like, now you're going to get me crying. Well, you know, and you know, you've got a really nice voice, you know. Thank you. You've got a really nice voice. Uh, this guy's starting to get on my fucking nerves, all right. Uh, but, you know, let me tell you something about trolls. Trolls, trolls uh, are looking for something that we're finding. And, you know, mm -hmm. you can talk about the creator, but I am the creator. I am a god. You know what I mean? And you're a goddess. <laughs> and uh, this is how this gig works. But I, I think we it's... Are that, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we can, we can talk about the semantics of it. The fact is, uh, you know, there, show me one thing in this universe that uh, is the offspring of something that it's not. You know, anything that bears a child... Uh, bears an offspring is buried something made in the exact same image. So, you know, and I think it's, it's uh, uh, unfortunate that people want to try to interrupt this kind of energy and that's okay. That's all right. Because at the end of the day, uh, it's kind of like a bully mentality, uh, you know, and at the end of the day, uh, you know, they wouldn't be here if they weren't searching for something. You know, and so uh, otherwise they wouldn't be spending their time. So I, I actually want to thank them. I want to thank them. Uh, and I want to thank myself for only throwing out one F-bomb. <laughs> Peace and power to you, Todd. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you have an incredible voice. I have a song called, a uh, soul speak called Type. I found the zero point. Ain't no tightrope, it's miles and miles wide. You know, all been tried, faith inside, won't be denied. Nice. Uh, and and I, I can't remember all the words, but I think your voice would be perfect for it. Um, oh, I've got a, ni a, a nice instrumental for it. Yeah, I got a nice instrumental for it. I think you'd be perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm completely um, I'm completely down with that. I 
yeah, I when it comes to music, it's just it's it's just my life, sweet. Yeah. So yeah. You, you yeah. Have, you, have a voice. you have a beautiful voice. You have an incredible Thank voice. You. Uh, this and was like me when um this was me here when I was 15 years old and I was very, very overweight. But I was still even then playing my guitar, right? <laughs> right. So you play just, the guitar? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. A bit of guitar, a bit of harmonics, a few instruments. I my my uh, great granddad used to play nine different instruments. I've actually got a picture of him here. A really amazing guy. Um he would teach it in the village as well in Italy. Oh wow. My ancestors. Yeah, so from, uh so your grandfather's from Italy. My right? family, my my ancestors are from Italy, from my uh, mum's side, and they're from a place um uh, called uh, La Strega di Benevento, the witches of Benevento. <laughs> Oh, and as I okay. said that, my ancestors jumped out of their boat. <laughs> there um, you it, go. Yeah, there you go. They're saying hello. Um, it's uh, basically it was my um, nan sister's anniversary, like a birthday or anniversary, death anniversary, the other day. My mum's a medium, right? So yeah. my mum was at my nan's, and the whole family and spirit, all of these lot, <laughs> came along and started singing and dancing around my nan and so forth. Um, and it was quite nice because when we was in Wales, it was my great granddad who came through to help us do some healing work that we was doing. So that was quite amazing, really. It felt really nice uh, to know that they're there, you know. Amazing. Um, but yeah, my mum's my mom's a natural medium. She always has been. And um, I think I've maybe picked up the gift from her a little bit because I I kind of see dead people as well, even though we know they're not dead, right? They're fully alive. Yeah. Well, so, you know uh, that that Italian that Italian blood it runs it runs in that. Yeah, know? agreed. It, I mean, agreed. I've known I've, I've yeah I've known people that from Italy and especially Sicily that yeah. Uh, oh, carry. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Benevento is more, um, more near Napoli, you know, the old city of Napoli, Naples. Yeah, yeah more closer yeah. to there, but, uh, it's, but it's all beautiful anyway. Italy is amazing. Um, and I'd love to have a home there one day. Um, I'm hoping the books I sell and the music I make and stuff, hopefully that will get me there one day, you know? That would be awesome. Well, and uh, another thing I'd like to throw out there for our friend is that uh, – you know, uh, I think if we look at this fishbowl of a realm and in our end of the universe, multiverses, uh, we all know that the mother goddess has returned. We all know that the mother goddess energy was suppressed. <laughs> it was suppressed. And so when we started this gig, if you just go back to the institutionalization that we had, they told us God was a masculine energy, which was a bunch of bullshit. OK, so. Any, any of those books that refer to the creator, so to speak, as masculine energy, uh, was programming. Every ancient, uh, blah, every ancient civilization before the hieroglyphs and all of the evidence, the libraries, before all of that was destroyed by his story, you literally had the divine feminine mother a very large lady literally painted on everything, but it was destroyed like crazy. Yet there was many civilizations that were taught by ETs and taken by ETs when things went kind of wrong. And um, they all had queens as their, as their leader, basically. That's true. That's true. Um, but at the same time, I... <laughs> I think it's it's got to be a balance, Todd. You have, we have masculine and feminine within all of us, so the balance, right? I agree. No, I'm just yeah. making a point to your friend over there. That's all. I understand yeah. where you're coming yeah. from, though. It, it yeah. would be nice if, um, yeah. But well, you know what? We are we are respecting the divine feminine again, and she has risen. You're right. She truly has. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, it's I mean, it's it's obvious. I mean, if you, if you look at the whole uh history even what wasn't well really what wasn't written uh, you know burning witches at the stake 
Yeah. Uh, these these were divine feminines that were treating people with herbs. Yeah. And uh, right. in communion with the universal. Very look at wise. all the 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 tens of millions of women that were slaughtered in the the dark ages or the you know 13, 1400s. Uh, you look at the way they removed Mary Magdalene. You look at the patriarchal system and all the religious institutions and even in the state governments. You know, so it's it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what was missing in our homes, in our homes, in our organizations, in our countries, in our villages. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we we do have to to balance. Uh, we know that we know we know that that divine union occurs within ourselves. Definitely. But to be fo- to be following any of this false narrative at this point in the game is just it's just uh, uh, you know it's it's a deniability of your own divinity. Mm, you know. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. However, there is souls that have decided that they're not ready to uh, wake up, as we call it, in this lifetime or for many lifetimes yet. And many of them are, sad to say, soul rejecting, choosing to leave this life in whichever way they desire. Um, and some of them are choosing just not to ascend in this lifetime and perhaps go to another place so forth and so forth carry on learning carry on growing whatever they decide to do for their highest good their soul's plan so you 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 have to kind of you have to kind of have space for it yet as long as you're centered i find and grounded in love and you're in your heart and you you know like i said for me it's meditation for you guys it could be anything that you know brings you centered you can deal with all of that because you're aware without the dark you wouldn't see the light and vice versa so you kind of you kind of just jump off and you're neither really you're you're neither you just observe yeah i think you i think you bring up a good point you bring up a great point and that is it's not that complicated right you mm-hmm. you run you run everything through your heart mm-hmm. um you know and you express everything from your heart it's not that it's not that difficult. I mean, oh, it really isn't. Sorry. What you got? What you got? No, sorry, just the lady. I was just reading the comments and the lady said Joan of Arc. She was another amazing one. Um Absolutely. you know, another amazing female that was that was hidden out kind of thing. And there was uh where I live, what was the lady's name? Ah, oh, she had red hair, she um she fought the she fought the Roman army. Queen Bodicea, oh, she's another one. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah, I live, that, that happened here, literally. Uh, oh, oh there's many. That's, a, that's so a great. That's a great story. I, I heard that story earlier this year. I, I never heard it before. That's an incredible story. Uh, Boudica. I, don't, I probably said it wrong. Queen Bodicea. Yeah. Um. I, I don't know much Bodicea. of the story. All I'm aware of is she was a woman, and you know she was the only woman in in the army, sort of thing. And she led the army to yeah. literally, literally uh, kill the Romans at that time because the Romans had taken over everywhere, right? You know how the Romans were like, whoo, you don't want to yeah. mess with them guys, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, she literally led them, and yeah, she was just the first successful woman to do that, really, uh, at least to be spoke about, like Joan of Arc as well. Um, but th- yeah. there's been so oh, no, many amazing women. Yeah, and, and the unfortunate thing is that so many of the the uh, you know the feminine uh, leaders, heroes, whatever you want to call it, they've been erased. We have no record yeah. of them. Period. You know, so. You it's know, really but it, but it, it's all it's all being rectified now. I, I mean, in the work yeah. I do. When I started, there was about 72% women and 28% men. Now it's about 64, 65%. Uh, so it's 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 uh, leveling off, and there's right. more divine masculines. There's more uh, men and masculine energies, regardless of their uh, you know their genders incarnation, that mm-hmm. are stepping up and removing that old false masculine uh, facade. Uh, mm-hmm. such, such as our friend that's been making comments on this show, which I would uh, in, I would gladly invite him to my show, which starts in ten minutes. You're welcome to come on there. Uh, and ah, now we have a comment from a female as well who's being a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> this just means you're being successful. That's all it means. 
Um, I want you know, attention. Yeah, I do want attention actually because I had a life as an elemental and we love to sing and dance and we're just so dramatic. I can't help it. It's my spirit girl. I think you are I think you are definitely from the fairy kingdom. There's no doubt about it. I am. It. I literally am. I, I was a fairy princess in one life, literally. Well, so, I think yeah. you still are. I think you still are a fairy princess. I appreciate that, you know. That would make sense why the fairy galactics have come through to me. That would make total sense, actually, wouldn't it? Crystal galactics as well, because I, I like to work with crystals as well. I don't know if you guys like crystals, but let me show you some of mine. I have a little altar over there, like, where I keep certificates and my crystals, some of my crystals. I've got so is, many. This is, is a... a Smoky quartz. That's nice. This yeah. repels negativity and all that kind of stuff away. Can you can you throw it at somebody? Hit them between the eyes? <laughs> no, it's too precious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Uh, that, re that, that reminds me of uh, that meme where they it looks like. Uh, have you seen it? it? Looks like uh, brass knuckles, but it's a crystal with all the uh -huh. all the crystals are sticking out. Yeah, I'm with you. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Similar, yeah. yeah. It, and it's yeah. natural as well. Can you believe that's literally just come out yeah. the earth? Right? Crystals are amazing. Unbelievable. Crystals are amazing. They're unbelievable. They, they run. Um, they run many civilizations. You know, like the Atlanteans and the Lemurians. Yeah. So many civilizations powered their spaceships, yeah. entire cities, places. Oh, yeah, yeah. On They're incredible. Yeah. This is a green calcite. Uh, I've never seen one like this before. This is amazing. So we that use these nice. healing, uh, with the quartz points. They're really good for directing energy. This is a, a Labradorite, I believe, transformation. Uh, this cool. is a, um, where, where does this one come from? This is a Atlantean, is it? Atlant no, sorry, this is a Lemurian. This is a Lemurian. Lemurian. And yeah, this those is, are really cool. They are. Uh, this, like the Atlantean crystals, they both have wisdom locked within them, the genuine Lemurian seeds. Um, what else? Let's see. There is... Oh, man, crystal maniac. <laughs> there is... We have a geodide amethyst, which is just... I love amethyst. It's for chakra crown chakra. Really cool. You're doing great. Uh, it's like a jade. I love jade. Yeah, beautiful jade. We have black onyx or obsidian. Sorry, maybe one of the two. This is an angel aura. And this is a clear quartz, again, for healing, crystal healing. And that's it, guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to have to park company because i got a show starts in seven Hey, minutes. I was literally just – look, stop reading my mind, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but look, let me, tell you, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I think you're doing great. You're beautiful. You're brave. Thank uh, you. Uh, don't stop doing what you're doing. Uh, don't, don't allow anything or anyone to stand in your way. You, you aren't seeking attention. You have a message to deliver. That's your mission, and I support you any way that I can. I just want you to know that, and uh, and I'm and I'm do you know if you need anything, let me know. I really appreciate that, Todd, and I'm going to respond with I'm humbled for this experience. I'm honoured for this opportunity for us to come together and share genuine love and genuine wisdom and genuine light to this world. And I'm grateful for you for being authentic, for stepping up for the divine masculine and for expressing your emotions. It's took a few generations, but it's nice to see the guys are getting there. Hey, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'd just like to say as well to everyone, thank you, peace, power, prosperity, abundance, health, all the goodness in life to all of you. And I love you all. Please do check out my page if you resonate. And also, Todd, Todd, do you want to leave your uh, page details quickly? or? Yeah, I can do that. I'll go back on the Underneath, the yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'll do All right, that. guys, we'll link the uh, details hey, underneath. And, and I'll reach out to you on the music, okay? Oh, yeah, and I'll, sorry, I'll... of course. If there's anything you need, I'm here as well. I forgot to say yeah. that. Sorry. Yeah, please well, do. Gonna, I, 
Yeah, I'm going to send this one to you to start. It would be right. nice. It would be nice to meet Morgan as well at some point. Perhaps we could do like a, I don't know, a joint show or something one day. Anything like that, be cool. All that right, works. guys. All, All right, right, guys. Take care. See Namaste. You Thank you, everyone, for joining. Take care. Love you. Thank you for joining back because I'll be having more interviews um, coming up. Now I've started the program again, guys. I'll have more interviews with different people, amazing people. I'm so honored and humbled to be able to interview Todd. I've been watching his shows, like I said, for a few years now, guys, and I've seen him transform. He's an amazing guy, and, you know, he really has been through a lot. I know he didn't really – go into the um, sad, the traumatic stuff, nor did I, because that wasn't what it was about tonight. However, I heard his story and it's, you know, it's, it, we all have a story, right? We all have trauma that we've been through and things we've been through. But guys, it's possible to go forward. This is all I'm gonna say. It's possible to go forward. Um, go with him, live in love, meditate regular, and just be. And that's all I can say. I love you all. Blessings to all of you and thank you. And I pray that Mother, Father, God shines light on all of you. Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining.